Hello and welcome to another fun-filled episode of the Fat R. I'm Eric the Car Guy, your host. The first announcement I have for you today is that there will be no podcast. So this Sunday, no podcast. We're taking the week off. Call it whatever holiday you want to call it, but uh, we're going to do something else this week. Sorry. But we really enjoyed having Tom Burklow on last week talking about motorcycles. It was a great show. A lot of you missed it. I made myself a little cheat sheet so that I wouldn't forget this time about some of the stuff that I wanted to cover. Because so often when I shoot this, I, I just... I just sit down and start talking and then I get back and I try to edit later and I realize all the things that I forgot. So, we have our little cheat sheet today. Alright, um, why don't we start with what Eric is watching. I'm, I'm a pretty busy guy answering comments and emails and making videos and all that kind of stuff, so I don't have a whole lot of time to watch. But if there's something that uh, somebody sends me like that and, and I take a look at it, it's kind of cool, well, I'd like to share that with all of you. Some of the cool things that I have seen, what have I seen? One of the things that uh, the Getaway had sent me, aside from a really nice postcard thanks, um, was a video about a guy in a moped, and this is totally insane. And I think it's called Moped FTW. Yeah, that guy's crazy. Also, I got sent this other video called Jiffy Jeep, and it's been viewed quite a few times, so many of you out there may have seen it already. But it's kind of cool. I mean, these army guys like get out and take apart their Jeep, disassemble the whole thing, lay it on the ground, and then put it all back together within just a couple of minutes. It's actually pretty incredible. <laughs> also, on top of that, uh, my friend Grata One, um, he just posted a video about uh, which I found very gorgeous, this 69 Charger um, that has uh, an 1100 horsepower engine in it, and they just rebuilt the whole front end, and uh, for a lot of you out there ask me questions about making your cars go fast. Well, when you got older cars like that, they're big and heavy, and to go fast is one thing, but to try to make them handle is quite another. Rebuilding the front suspension on this car looked like a job, but it's going to be awesome. Anyway, it looks really cool, and I kind of wish that... Uh, I was doing something like that, so uh, I like to watch the videos. The steering box used to be right here, so that's all wide open now. Got rid of that. Yeah, because you're uh, you got to see now it's got a rack and pinion. Comes in along here. You see the boot here. So uh, that's kind of like a a, a nice uh, setup. It takes a bit of weight off the car too, I think. And then also on the uh, race car front is I've got a friend, uh, Les Morris, Big Block Mustang, who's had a channel for some time, and uh, go figure, he drag races a Mustang. It's kind of fun to uh, watch him do his passes. I mean, he's down under 10 seconds, which, if you know anything about drag racing, doing a quarter mile in less than 10 seconds is no small feat at all. So, if you want to check those out, there's links down below. So you just open that thing up and click down there and check out some of the things that I've shown you here. Uh, in addition to that, um, this coming week I actually have a stock of videos built up now that the Civic Engine series is over. Um, so normally what I do is I post these on Facebook and ask the viewers what they would like to see. But since uh, I'm not doing a podcast this week, I'll give you something to think about over this holiday weekend, and that is what video you might like to see. And your choices are changing Honda automatic transmission fluid, uh, an update to the captive rotor video where I show how to uh, get the bearing out of the knuckle on the car rather than off the car. I also did a video on uh, sharpening motor blades. I had to do it. I figured I'd shoot the video. Uh, another one on taking wheels off of a car. Um, sometimes you go to take a wheel off and the darn thing is just sort of stuck even after you get the lug nuts off and you, and you can't get it off. Well, I did a video on that. And then lastly, I did one on resetting the maintenance light in a General Motors vehicle. Those things to choose from. In the comments below, leave your votes, tallies, and I'll tally them up or whatever, and I'll, I'll go for the most popular. A couple of those are kind of short, so uh, I'll probably throw two in together on uh, Monday. 
In addition to that, I've been reposting some of the older Eric the Car Guy videos that initially before I became a YouTube partner, um, I had to split up into different 10 minute segments because the maximum I could post was 10 minutes. Some of them were split up in three, diff three different ways. Now that I can post full length videos, I've taken these videos that were all split up brought them all together and have posted them as one continuous video. So if you want to revisit some of the Eric Car Guy classics, we'll be putting those out. And actually, since I haven't really had too much that's gone on on the For Sale Wednesdays, I've been reposting those on Wednesdays. So maybe we can call that Classic Eric Car Guy Wednesdays. I, I don't know. Ah, also in other news, uh, I am I have scheduled another Eric the Car Guy 2.0 video. It's been a while since you've seen one of those. Uh, the last one was the one where I visited Wells Ignition up in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Now that green thing you see there is not the laser. The laser is infrared and can't be seen with the naked eye. So that is coming to you very soon. Um, probably look for that in the next month or so. Uh, I'll be doing uh, principal shooting on that next week and I uh, should be posting it shortly after that. I've also worked out a couple of other things to try and bring the level of Eric the Car Guy production up another notch. So, the more of these I do, the more feedback I get from you, the more I want to do more and make this whole thing that much better. I think I've talked for quite a while, and I need to wrap this up, because, uh, you know, I need to. I am Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me at ericthecarguy.com. Go there. Go there, see things. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, we love our friends there, and you get a little more of the uh, inside of what's happening in the Eric the Car Guy universe and stuff that might be coming along your way. Uh, and lastly, uh, even though it's not going to be this Sunday, uh, Rich Baxter and I from CarAndTruckTalk.com normally get together and we do uh, podcasts on Sundays. Sometimes later in the afternoon, sometimes... I don't know when we do it. It's just kind of all over the place, but we like doing it. We love it when you guys come there and talk to us about that whole thing. I'm going to wrap this up with the uh, classic be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. I'm going to go get dirty on this Accord right now. It's going to be fun. Catch you later. Bye.